In this video, we'll be repairing, actually replacing the fan in this Kirby G4 vacuum. If you have a different model of the G series Kirby vacuums, it is likely that this video will still help you because it's the same part and also it is very similar in design and taking it apart. So the tools that you'll need uh, include a T20 screwdriver. That's kind of the uh, star shaped bit, a Phillips screwdriver, which is kind of the plus shape, a flathead screwdriver, and you will need some silicone seal or some type of gasket maker. All right, so with that being said, let's uh, get down to it. First thing you wanna do is take off the uh, floor assembly and you lift up the light cover, flip that latch, and then turn the plastic Kirby logo. And you turn it until the two red arrows align and that removes or lifts the belt off of the shaft. So with that off, you just put it aside and then you get the T20 screwdriver bit, looks like that. There are five screws on the front of the vacuum and we'll be taking those off. Next, we'll be taking off the, uh, the handle if you haven't already. There's just kind of push and then slide that little thumb lever. Then there's two screws that hold in this plastic piece on the back. So the one right there that holds on the, the cord and then the one in the back kind of where you switch the gears from drive to, to neutral. Take that off. There's going to be a couple more screws in the back. Okay, then you'll be able to remove the back cover and that will reveal two more screws that you will need to take off. Once you take those screws out, get a flathead screwdriver and you're going to have to kind of pry off because they used a, a rubber seal and you're gonna have to separate that front kind of bezel cover and that will reveal the fan. Then you use just a small pipe or in my case a, a small screwdriver and in this case it goes clockwise to unwind it. So once you remove that you take off the little metal um, washer if you buy a replacement uh, fan, it should come with all of the replacement components and it's worth replacing them all. It does take a little bit of effort to get it off. Okay, so I cleaned the fan to give you a better idea of what you're looking at because it's usually so covered in dust. But you can see the blades all around the blades are cracking. And if you get certain shaped nicks and bends in the fan, it can whistle. But this one was really loud. And if you look, um, you can see that it's been wearing specifically on this side of the plate. So we just are going to replace the entire fan. There's not much that you can do with this at this point. Um, and so we're going to order a new part. Okay, so now we're going to be putting on the new components. And you just want to pay attention to how you put them on. They all fit in a very specific way. So there's that rubber bushing that fits right on that piece and then you put the Teflon or the nylon washer and then the fan goes on and you want to verify that it's uh, spinning nicely. If you have a bent shaft, a motor shaft, uh, you could be having a problem with that as well. Then you put on the metal washer And then again, this, this piece screws on um, counterclockwise. And I just kind of used a screwdriver to make sure it was tight enough. You don't want to over tighten it. You want it to spin, um, but it is going to be uh, more snug than it was before. Okay, now you want to take a razor blade and scrape off any of the rubber sealant that they used uh, when you took it apart from both sides or both pieces. You want this as clean as possible and then we will be uh, applying some new silicone. So take your time with this, get it clean. Here I have some just some, it's actually windshield gasket maker. It's a silicone based 
um, rubber, and so that's what I used. You can get any kind of silicone material. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you do a even bead, not a ton, but um, you don't want to miss any spots. And I, I went around where the bolts go around, so the whole area, if that makes sense. Then just put these screws in. Now you'll notice that there's some screws in this part that are rounded and then other screws are flush. Um, so these four that I put in are all rounded T20 screws. And then here is the flush screw. So it's to totally flat on the top. Now we'll put the back cover on. put those screws those two screws in the back and then we will be putting two more flush screws that connect the back cover to the front piece these are flat uh, screws they're Phillips screws but they're flush and then we have this screw that kind of connects the uh, plastic piece then we'll be reattaching the power cable And then you just want to uh, latch it on those on that bracket there, turn the latch, and then turn the front plastic um, belt release. And then we'll put the handle back on. And that's it. We put the whole Kirby vacuum back together. Hopefully you don't have any screws left. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.